I'm a broken record for saying this. I do love movies. Just like video games, I will talk about them pretty much every day. For a long while, I wanted to do a new series on my channel where I talk about movies I rewatched. If this video works out, I might do another one. Plus, there might be spoilers. I just wanted to get that out there. Let's get started, shall we? The first movie I wanted to discuss is Cats Don't Dance. I remember seeing this film when I was in my 6th grade choir class. I wasn't too into it the first time I watched it. Something about it gave me a that mindset. I can't put my finger on why, but after watching it again as an adult, I can safely say this movie is pretty good. It's not my utmost favorite film, but I appreciate it for what it is. Sincere, charming, and creative. You can do anything if you try. I do have one big issue with the movie. Why are these non-important characters ignorant of what's going on? But across the board, this is a good film for kids. The acting is on point, the animation is pleasing to the eye, and the songs are delightful. It's undoubtedly a one-time watch. The next movie is Quest for Camelot. I remember watching this occasionally on VHS when I was a kid. The whole Camelot journey it delivers felt magical at a young age. What sprung into mind while watching Quest for Camelot now is how dark this movie can be despite the comic relief moments sprinkled in. The film is mostly loosely adapted from the book The King's Damsel. I never read the book, however I did hear the book is far darker than its adaptation. As for the movie, it's pretty decent. And I do happen to agree with some sources. You can tell Warner Brothers wants to capitalize on the Disney scene. Does it thrive in that aspect? Not exactly, no. At the same time, it doesn't mean this movie is terrible. It just needs room for improvement. Was it worth a rewatch? I believe so. Let's not forget that there's a video game incarnation of the film for a Game Boy Color. I've played it on the Switch. Oof, that game was rough. It's not the only game based on the movie's universe, as there's an Activity Center PC game. I never played that one. Judging by the footage online, it looks fine. There's not a lot to convey. Click on the screen to continue! Yippee! The last film I will discuss is The Secret of Nim, an adaptation of the book Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. This movie was also from my 6th grade adventures alongside Cats Don't Dance. I don't remember much of the book, but I do remember seeing the movie. This film is depressing. One little mouse is sick, Mrs. Frisbee, not named Mrs. Frisbee, has to move her home and she's off on a risky quest. When I say it's depressing, I earnestly mean when I said. There are a lot of thematic themes in this entire film, one of them being death. Despite all this, this movie's fantastic, even watching it as an adult. Seeing the secrets of Nim makes me want to rewatch Anastasia. I remember that one being dark, especially hearing the song In the Dark of the Night. A corpse falling to bits! Then I opened my eyes and the nightmare was whoa, whoa, me! Whoa, whoa. Overall, The Secret of Nim is worth checking out. It's great for both kids and adults. Thank you for watching the video. If you like what you see here, subscribe to my channel. Be sure to follow me on the socials for further updates.